we are not in a post uh, LGBT world. We, um, in fact, the the battle lines are f much more defined, and um, there's a significant amount of pushback from the religious right, um, who want to see that our rights are diminished rather than enhanced. We have um, yes, we have marriage equality, which hopefully under this administration uh, will not be tampered with, but. Um, those around him um, would sooner see us back in the closet and away from their children and away from society and away from all the things that are good and progressive in our in our lives and um, and those elements tinker with the law and with the uh, um, judicial appointments to ensure that in the generations ahead that those rights are are um, minimized and if not reversed so we have, a, we have, here I am, you know, thinking, oh, well, we've, we've, we've worked on this for the last 25 years. I can sit back and relax and, you know, we've, we've accomplished what we need to accomplish. But all we have done is we established a beachhead. We have put our, you know, feet into the ground and we have a, uh, we have a, uh, a seat at the table. But that's just the beginning. I've come to learn that in the equal rights movement, uh, or the civil rights movement, um, it's uh, a continual process. If you look at the African American community who thought that everything was over in 1965 and they wouldn't have to fight for their rights anymore, you know, again, history speaks differently. Um, human beings um, are difficult to change. Their minds are hard to, to, um, um, to shape and to influence. So um, we have to be ever vigilant in where we go and to be sure that those that follow us have been nurtured and mentored and uh, feel strong and to continue and carry the torch forward. It's, it's, it's really tragic that the leaders of our past have all passed away. Um, I imagine that that happened in a lot of other communities too throughout the country. Um, and uh, uh, but. But I, I don't think their memory will be erased um, because of things like this that we're trying to do to maintain the dignity and the significance of their impact. So I think that um, 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 Fort Lauderdale and Broward County um, um, have a lot to, uh, to add to the equal rights movement. Um, and the fact that we have a, an embracing, nurturing, uh, uh, and I don't want to say progressive, but let's just say we have the, the goals to be progressive. Um, you know, I think that uh, this is the new magnet for our community. Uh, people are leaving the big cities, they're coming to our area of the, of the country, and uh, uh, it's, it's no coincidence that Fort Lauderdale has the highest uh, percentage of same-sex households in the entire country. and. Um, um, and I feel very proud of that. I feel like I helped create that. But like I've said to all my friends who are half my age, you know, it's your turn now. And, uh, um, and you know, they need to eat a little dirt and they need to get their knees scraped and they need to not be disappointed 